Hi, this is JC Sum, and today we'll be talking about Mises Dreams Coin Pails. A couple of years ago, I did a review video where I compared different pails and buckets on the market to see which would be best for the Mises Dream routine. Uh, the two buckets that came up tops were the Perfect Coin Pail and the Bell Bucket from Magic Ink. I sold the Perfect Coin Pail for some time until the manufacturer stopped making the base model and I couldn't provide it anymore, so it's discontinued. Let me show it to you first. This is the original Perfect Coin Pail. It's pretty big as you can see, it's styled to look like a champagne bucket. Even though it's quite large, it is pretty lightweight. And best of all, when the coins are dropped inside, it's really loud and nice. Well, for years I've been looking for a replacement, but to no avail, until now. So all these years I've been looking for, you know, a coin pail to replace the perfect coin pail. But, you know, it's really hard to find because I look for a specific material, thickness, and the way that the pail is constructed because all this contributes to how light is it and what sound and how loud the sound is. So let me show you the Perfect Coin Pail 2.0. Very different in concept and design from the original bucket. It's much smaller, looks very simple as well. In fact, it's got a very small mouth. And the great thing about a small mouth as opposed to a tapered open mouth is if you're performing on the street or in any venue where the audience is above you, like in a tiered seating, they can't look down into uh, this particular pail. Great thing about this pail, made from stainless steel, but very lightweight and also very loud. Great feature is the lip that's around the entire mouth of the bucket. This makes it very easy to grip the bucket, especially when you're in Miser's Dream position and uh, doing the coin moves necessary for the routine. This bucket, and I'll compare it to the Bell Bucket, which is made by Magic Ink. They look pretty similar, but there are differences. This is slightly smaller. The Bell Bucket has a satin finish. It's also made from stainless steel. You probably can't see the finish on the video that well, but this has a more shiny finish. The good thing about the shiny finish is, you know, when the lights catch it on stage, you can see it, it's very nice, but it also allows finger marks to show up very easily, so you have to clean the bucket before each show. The Bell Bucket is made from stainless steel, as mentioned, but it's much heavier. In fact, the Perfect Coin Pail 2.0 is 60% lighter than the Bell Bucket, so it's a really big difference, especially when you're performing the routine. The Bell Bucket also has a lip all around the mouth of the pail. But this lip is actually quite short and it's rounded. It's not flat like the perfect coin pail. Now, what this means is when you're holding the coin pail in Mises Dream position, it's not easy to grip the bucket. Coupled with the weight of the bucket, it's quite tiring to hold the bucket for a sustained period of time and of course, makes the moves harder to do. With the perfect coin pail 2.0, you have a flat, lip and very pronounced lip about 1 cm uh, wide so it's very easy to just grip with your thumb and hold it in position. Let me let you have a listen to how the pail sound like when coins are dropped inside. I'll start off with the Norm Nielsen's Palming Coins. These are very beautiful coins, uh, very large, bigger than a silver dollar but very thin, made from stainless steel and nickel plated. This is the Perfect Coin Pail 2.0. Very loud. And it's very important for any coin pail that you consider, it must be really loud when a coin drops in. Because when you're playing for a large room, you need everyone to hear the coin drop in. And you know, the whole premise or the whole uh, idea of the Miser's Dream is for the audience to be able to hear the coin drop inside. This is the bell bucket. Very nice ring to it. And that's why it's called the bell bucket. The difference in sound is attributed to the material, the thickness of the buckets, and how the buckets are made. So there's a trade-off. The thicker the bucket, the nicer the sound may be, but the heavier the bucket is. Let me now try with a half dollar. A very popular coin with magicians, with the perfect coin pail, with the bell bucket. So those are the comparisons between these two buckets. If you're interested in the Perfect Coin Pail 2.0, carry on watching the video.